little the, bit of a tease. Yeah, right that's that's that a is. tease. Bro, that's such a tease. So IGN India just posted a new article. Apparently they had a discussion with Hiro uh, Hiroyuki. No, no, sorry, not no, it's Yoshiaki Kobayashi, I'm pretty sure. No, Yoshiaki Hirabayashi. Sorry. <laughs> there's a lot of there's a lot of Hirabayashis and Let's Kobayashis. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, Yoshiaki Hirabayashi, who is Resident Evil 4 Remake's producer. And they basically asked him uh, uh, a question regarding Dark Side Chronicles, specifically Operation Javier. So I'm going to read this this out to you guys. IGN Resident Evil 4 Remake producer Yoshiaki Hirabayashi clarified whether or not Resident Evil, the Dark Side Chronicles, is considered canon to the Resident Evil universe. Specifically, the in-game scenario titled Operation Javier focuses on Leon Kennedy and his first mission as an agent for the United States government with his partner Jack Krauser. So, yeah, I guess uh, since you haven't played this uh, virus, what like I'll just explain really quick what what Operation Javier is about. Uh, as mentioned, it is basically like a prequel to Resident Evil 4 Remake. I think it takes place in 2003. I think it's 2003. Oh, this is the the uh, the on rail shooter, right? Yes, yes. Okay. So but there was yeah. like a it was like a DLC. It was it only it felt like a DLC, but it was honestly like a, a prequel to RE4. So this is when jack krauser and leon meet up and they basically go and uh to south america and there's right, something yes, going yes. on with like a, a a guy named javier and he's like um he's doing something with viruses so that's why they're sent in leon is sent in with the u.s government and krauser sent in as a soldier um but of course i guess the question here like even before reading the article which i haven't but the question here is that the the resident Evil 4 remake did a lot of changes so in Resident Evil Operation Javier, Leon and Krauser were just comrades, essentially. But as and, and with the OG RE4, right? The, the same thing happened there. But what happened with the remake is that they made it so that Krauser was a major to Leon. And they, he actually is the one that taught him how to fight, how to do everything, right? So that was the training that he did for the government. So that right there was a, was a change. Another thing mm -hmm. that remake changed was that in Operation Javier, it was just Leon and and Krauser that went into South American jungle and they went to the village and then, you know, did the whole story. But in the remake, they made it so that, um, and this is specifically found when you're going by the camp, you know, when an RE4 remake, when you're going in the camp, Krauser, and you see like the recordings oh, yeah. and stuff, you see a bunch of dog tanks. And mm -hmm. it's alluding to the fact that, that it wasn't just Leon and Krauser going to Operation Javier. It was a group of like other soldiers and they all died. And then it was mm -hmm. just Krauser and Leon that survived that whole incident. And just for those of you that don't know, um, the infection for Operation Javier is more closely related to Code Veronica. So it has the, code, the, the T Veronica virus as well as like the T, the T virus. So you had zombies and also, you know, um, the same kind of uh, thing that happened with Code Veronica, you know, with um, Alexia. More so, reason to remake that first. Yeah, yeah. Or if they remake, yeah, Code Veronica, I, I suggested that it should be a DLC for that. So somebody mentioned True. before yeah, okay. that it's uh, that Resident Evil 4 remake. Uh, there was a theory that Operation Javier should be a DLC for that. I'm like, no, it makes more sense if it was Code Veronica DLC. Okay. I think that would fit nicely. Yeah. But anyways, we'll continue. So that, that's what I mean. There's so the remake obviously changed a couple a couple of things. So. We'll continue on reading. It says, Resident Evil fans are likely familiar with Operation as the events of that mission played a key role in Jack Krauser and his disdain for both Leon and the U.S. government. So that was obviously kept in the remake, right? We saw Krauser kind of talk about how they, he didn't like how they, it was just kept shut, right? While the mission was not directly mentioned in the original Resident Evil 4, the 2023 remake references Operation Javier towards the end. When asked about Dark Side Chronicle status as a canonical entry in Resident Evil lore, Hirabayashi clarified that while Operation Javier itself is canon to the Resident Evil universe, the events depicted in Dark Side Chronicles are not exactly the same as those depicted in the remake. So yeah, that's that's an obvious thing as, as described, right? There's, there's changes that they made. So... Mm. He, there's a quote here. He says, the fact that Operation Javier occurred is in fact part of the current Resident Evil main story. However, as to what, uh, what, what that mission was, it's not exactly the same as the events portrayed in Resident Evil Dark Side Chronicles. So I guess he just, yeah, he just clarified that it's, it's the, yeah, there is a story of Operation Javier, but it's, it's not the same. <laughs> okay, gotcha. Uh, he says, I can't share the details, but you will find that the relationship between Leon and Krauser, as well as their conversations, give you some idea. Okay. Okay. So right there, 
Hirabayashi, I don't know what you just you just told a us. A bit of a tease. Yeah, right that's that's that a is. tease, bro. That's such a tease. Like I said, I never wa I never read this. I wanted to read this on on stream with virus and stuff. But dude, so that means that if they do, it would make more sense, as mentioned with my theory, that it would make more sense if they made were to make Code Veronica remake, because the Operation Javier has the same enemies. Mm -hmm. So that would be an amazing DLC. Like to be able to play as Leon and Krauser going into that the jungle. That would be cool. Or I even would if, be really down for that. Even if it was like a standalone game, because again, you the 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 locations are pretty specific. So even if it was Code Veronica, it would have to be made from the ground up because um, this is something I've stated in the video is that um, you know you have jungle fauna, you have you know specific residents that are living in that South America. But you know what? Now that I'm thinking about it, Rockford Island and Code Veronica was also set in South America, wasn't it? It was set in the Pacific South South. Yeah. 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 It was set it was so I'm assuming they don't give details, right? But I'm assuming it could be off the coast of Peru or maybe Chile, because obviously, you know, going to Antarctica wasn't that long of a flight. So it could be off of Chile. May I would say maybe Peru and Chile, maybe the border. That would be that would be probably the best location for Rockford. And since you know Rockford is in South America, if they were to remake Code Veronica, you could have a lot of jungle fauna or different fauna, right, from that location that could be reused for an Operation Javier. I think that's the best. I think that's the best. What do you think, Virus? What do you think? Yeah, I actually like the sound of that. I wouldn't mind yeah. again, like 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 I was gonna say, I wouldn't mind playing either of them and if they yeah. somehow have them directly correlated within the same game or if, even if they do like a separate like if they make it one yeah. shorter than the other yeah. just to get that experience and that extra story out the way i'm all for it man i'll take it and you can't you can't end off that by by teasing it like that that it, it sounds like it's almost you're almost confirming it is what it sounds he, he like he definitely so now is just make now i'm just like waiting for it <laughs> no matter how it comes out either as it's a yeah DLC, small standalone game hell yeah. man now now you got me excited it's, it's definitely confirmed. And, and you know what? Um, that, that's something that I stated in my previous video. Capcom never announces stuff. They never hype themselves up. They never hype the community. But this, I think, is is pretty is pretty hype. Like It is, yeah. <laughs> like, like the guy's say. like, I can't say anything. Why can't you say anything? Like, that but... just, yeah, that obviously means that, you know, you're working on it. You're working on yeah, it at course. this moment in time or something along those lines, right? It's in the discussion phase. So it could be, right? So, um yeah, yeah, that's that's crazy. Let's finish up this article because let's see what else he says. Later on, he says, for years, Resident Evil fans often discuss whether or not the on spin spinoff games, The Umbrella and Dark Side Chronicles are considered canon to Resident Evil lore, lore. Both games released in 2007 and 2009 as exclusive on the Wii before getting ported onto PS3 um, provide retellings of the same uh, mainline Resident Evil games such as Resident Evil Zero, Code Veronica. Both games had original scenarios not found in other Resident Evil games such as Operation Javier. And so that's, that's what I was just saying, right? Like the DLCs are definitely something that's important to the story. Um, yeah. In our review, Resident Evil Dark Side Chronicles, we said the real shooter genre will never be the true Resident Evil experience, but Resident Evil Dark Side Chronicles shows that the franchise can be spun into different successful styles of gameplay. Even with my complaints about the bouncy camera, I believe this follow-up is significantly better experience than the original Umbrella Chronicles. Yeah, that's just a review. Okay, so Taylor is a reporter at IGN. Yeah, Taylor Nixter, that's the one who wrote this article. Props to Taylor for asking good questions to Yoshiaki Hirabayashi, man. What the? <laughs> got pretty good responses from him too. Yeah, we got a freaking like, got yeah. confirmation, bro. <laughs> yeah. this, is, this is awesome. But yeah, that's the end of the article. So it was just that interview, I guess. But um, yeah, guys, I'm 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 hyped. I'm hyped. I, that means Operation Javier is definitely mm -hmm. happening. Yeah, it's definitely in talks. And uh, it's such a it's such a cool game as well, and it's cool because you there's part of it where you're in the jungle and you're going into like the village, and it's like a South American village. Um, mm -hmm. You're seeing different South South American you know zombies or people that are zombies, and then um, you kind of go through like the like the the river section where there's like an Amazon river, and uh, you go into like the uh, this dam. You fight through this dam, and then after it ends, where you fight in the guy's mansion. So his mansion complex, because I think he's like a cartel. I don't know what he is, but yeah, Javier. Um, you know, he's 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 like a multimillionaire. So he's got like a mansion in the <laughs> in the jungle. But I wish that were me. Yeah. <laughs> so that's yeah, rare that's IGNW. Cool. That exciting. <laughs> yeah, that's rare IGNW. Set. No kidding. That's a cat you know? set. hundred yeah. percent agree. Click this video if you guys want to see the full discussion I had with Virus the Virus. As I stated in that video, I think he's the funniest Resident Evil YouTuber out there. So make sure to check him out. And thank you so much for watching.